Now here it says that various NAP is owned by Tepang. Various NAP is an art business that generates money by offering photo shoots and selling art. Now, according to the information, the owner contributed 1.2 into the business. The amount was deposited directly into the business bank account. When the owner contributes money, we are receiving money as the business. So when we receive money, it will be recorded in the cash receipts journal. Now, when we record it in the cash receipts journal, we'll write BS. It will be, the first, the owner is Tepang, that is the person that contributed money. It will be recorded under bank and sundry capital. Okay. Let's go back to the transactions. It says that Tepang bought, highlight bought, bought cameras. Okay, bought cameras. Of photo shoots from Setole Digital and paid. So whenever we pay, that transaction will be recorded in the cash payments journal. Now let's go to the cash payments journal. You will write it as BS um, and it happened on the first. We paid Setole Digital. It will go on the bank as well as equipment, which is Sundry. Okay, so this one goes to the cash payment journal because we are making the payment. Previous one went to the cash receipts journal because we were receiving cash. Here we are paying out money. When you pay out money, the transaction will be recorded in the cash payment journal. On the 6th, it says we received a direct deposit for commission. Received means we are receiving money for commission income. That will be recorded in the CRJ. Okay, let's go to the CRJ. You will write BS. The date will be the 6th, and that is cash sales or cash receipts. And the bank will have 5,200, and you will have another value under commission income, which is 5,200. We received that money. Okay, let's go to the next one. What does the next one say? Um, because it's a direct deposit, that's why it doesn't go under analysis. Okay. Now, still on the sixth, it says that Tepang bought. So we are buying now. As the business, we are buying consumable stores from check-in stores and paid 5000 by EFT. So we paid. So we bought stuff cash. The fact that we are making a payment, it goes to the cash payments journal. You will write PS, the day will be the 6th. We are making a payment to check in stores. It will go under bank as well as consumables. Okay. Let's move on to the next transaction. On the 8th, um, received credit card payment from Kim for her 18th birthday photo shoot, which is 9,800. Now, what we need to do here is to record that in the CRJ because we received credit card payment is the same as though we are receiving cash. And when we receive cash, it will be recorded in the cash receipts journal. Credit card payment is the same as though the money is going straight into your bank account. We received it from Kim. It will go on the bank as well as current income because that's what we are offering. We're offering photo shoots as a service. Okay, as one. Next one. On the 10th, we paid 5,500 rand for the month to brothers and paid by making a direct deposit to the brothers. That will be recorded in the cash payments journal. Let's go to the cash payments journal. You will write BS and the date will be the 10th. We paid it to the brothers. It was for rent, so it'll go under bank as well as sundry, it'll be 5,500. And this will be rent expense because we are paying that rent. Okay. Um, moving to the next transaction. We received a direct deposit, so we received, we are not paying, instead we are receiving a direct deposit from Lucas Reps for commission income. 
um, direct deposit will be recorded in the CRJ, cash receipts. We are receiving money. And it will be BS, um, and the date will be the 10th. We received it from Lucas Raps. Um, it will go under bank as well as commission income. Next one. Um, we paid water and electricity to a Grulini municipality with a business credit card, 4,500. We paid, paid, mm -hmm. used to cash payments journal. Um, in the cash payment journal, you'll have BS and they will be the 15th, a Grulini municipality and the bank, you'll have 4,500. And then under sundry because we're paying for water and electricity and we don't have a column for that. That's why we have to put it under sundry as such. Okay, next one. Um, received 13,200 for rent from M. Maloney. Okay, that one didn't specify whether it was a direct deposit or not. Um, as a result, we have to recall that under analysis on the receipts. Um, and now under analysis of receipts in your CRJ, you will have BS. In this case, it's not supposed to be BS. It's supposed to say receipts, but anyway. We will have 15, if we receive that from Embolo, it'll go under analysis of receipts, uh, 13,200 bank, 13,200. This is for rent income. We don't have a column for rent income. That's why we are going to report it under sundry. Um, and it should be, as I've said, um, receipt, okay? Should Um, the next one, it says we um, 23,000 deposited into the business bank account from Toyota for their new cars for to shoot. So we're receiving that money. Um, since we are receiving it, it will be recorded under the cash receipts journal and we'll have BS. The date will be um, the 20th. Then we're going to have Toyota and we'll have... Um, 23,000 and the bank and 23,000 and the current income. Okay, um, let's go to the information again. It says we bought more consumables from check-in stores and paid 4,200 by debit card. Um, that is a payment. It will go to cash payments journal. We'll have BS. Um, it was paid. Therefore, it was paid to checking stores, bank, and consumables. Okay, it'll go under bank as well as consumables. Okay. And um, on a 25th, we withdrew 3,200 to pay for wages. So we checked an amount or cashed an amount. That'll go to the cash payment journal. We'll have BS. And simply write the 25th, cash, cash, it will go under bank as well as um, wages, which is 3,200. So if you wrote cash, cash, or if you wrote, um, if you wrote employee, that'll still be correct. Okay, let us move on. Hmm? All right. Um, on the 25th, it says we took a loan with FMB loans, which is 320. The amount was deposited directly into the business bank account. Um, so since we took a loan, it means we are receiving that amount. So since we are receiving that amount, it will be recorded in the cash receipts journal. Okay, it will be recorded in the cash receipts journal because we are taking a loan. When you take more loan, you are getting money. 
that you need to repay to those people that you took money from. So that's why it goes. We're not repaying the loan. There's a difference between the two. Repaying the loan, it goes to the cash payments. Generally. Here we are taking a loan. We are receiving money. And um, for receiving that money, we are going to report it in the cash receipts journal. It was from FMB loans. It will go on the bank as well as Sandry, which is 320000 And then you write loan, FMB loans. Why doesn't it go under analysis? Guys, when you receive a loan, it will be deposited directly into your bank account. Okay, You won't get the cash. It will be deposited into your bank account. All right. Moving right along. And then they said we paid 7,000 by EFT towards the loan. Now that goes to the cash payments journal. We are paying 7,000 towards the loan. So we're paying it to FMB loans. It will be under bank as well as sundry, which is FMB loans. Um, and that's how you quote it. The last part, what does it say? It says that the bank statement received from Springs Bank reflected the following interest on unfavorable. Because it's on unfavorable, it will be recorded in the CPJ. If it said favorable, it will be recorded in the CRJ as interest income. Favorable, CRJ as interest income. Unfavorable is the same as bank overdraft. It will go to the CPJ as interest expense. Okay. And then we've got bank charges. And then we have 35000 withdrawn by Tsepang for personal use. All of those will be going to our cash payments. You know, I will actually separate Tsepang, but in this case, I didn't. Okay, I wrote Springs uh, Bank, which is 35810. What makes up that 35810 is the 254 interest expense. It is 564 um bank charges when it comes to drawings guys i will actually not edit up um i don't know why i edited it up here you'll have thirty-five thousand, which is drawings but i will write under details i will write step for that and then write the amount as thirty-five thousand and the bank instead of adding it up with the other because this one we know we actually um we made a payment too and i think that's it all right um so you add up everything in the CRJ. All right. Let's add it up. And for CPJ, you would just have to add everything up. And that is your total. Okay. Please check out the next video for the general ledger as well as the trial balance. Also.